So we said if you add or subtract fractions, the denominators, the bottoms, have to be equal. So over here, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 7, we cannot add right now. But what you can do is you can take the denominators off to the side and think about their multiples. Like if we got the numbers 2 and the number 7, this is separate from everything we're doing over here, okay? Um, got the numbers 2 and 7, those are our denominators. Start adding them by themselves. So 2 plus 2 makes 4, plus 2 makes 6, plus another 2. These are all multiples of 2. Okay? Then list some multiples of 7. 7 plus 7 makes 14, plus another 7, plus another 7. And try to find something in common between the two. And the multiple that's in common here, we have a 14 in this column and a 14 in this column. So what you want to do is you want to multiply the first fraction by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to multiply this by 7 and multiply this by 7. Okay? Multiply the top and the bottom by 7. And then uh, over here, there it's, uh, it's the second. You have to take 7 times 2 to make it equal 14. So you want to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And again, we have to do the same to the top that we do to the bottom in order to keep that fraction balanced. 1 times 7 makes 7. 2 times 7 makes 14. 1 times 2 makes 2. 7 times 2 makes 14. 14, and now we can add those together. 7 plus 2 makes 9 over 14. Now we've added 1 half plus 1 seventh. It makes 9 over 14. So you got to use that trick. You got to get the you got to get common denominators. So we're going to do the same type of thing. If you still if you had trouble with that one, uh, hang in there. Okay. Same thing over here. We have 3 and an 8. The denominators aren't the same. So list the denominators off to the side, and start thinking about their multiples. 3 plus 3 makes 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. You could keep going, but let's stop there. Do the same thing with 8. 8 plus 8 makes 16, plus another 8 makes 24. And whoa, we can actually stop because now we have something in common, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 times 8 makes 24. That will help us get something in common. So that means we got to multiply the top and the bottom here by 8. So we got to multiply the top and the bottom over here by 3. So 2 times 8 makes 16. 3 times 8 makes 24. 3 times 3 makes 9. 3 times 8 makes 24, just like we wanted. That way the denominators are the same. And so now if you subtract 16 by 9, that makes 7 over 24. Okay. Uh, before we do this one, look, you're subtracting a negative. That's the same thing as adding. You need common denominators between 3 and 4. So 3, we got 3 plus 3 makes 6, 9, 12, 4 plus 4 makes 8, plus another 4 makes 12. So there's our common denominators. So that means you've got to multiply the first fraction by 4 up top and 4 on bottom. You've got to multiply the second fraction by 3 up top and 3 on bottom. So you get negative 8 over 12 plus 9 over 12. And negative 8 plus 9, you get 1. Right? Because... If you start eight dollars in debt and you add nine dollars to your account, you got one dollar to buy three musketeers with, or, I guess, a Snickers. <laughs> okay. So definitely pause that recording and go back if you need help with those. Let me clear the board so we can tackle the next ones. On to the next one, as Jay Z said. So I got negative eleven over thirty plus twenty-seven over forty. Uh, in order to make those happen, we got to have common denominators. Even though the numbers are big, it's still you can still use the same process. List their multiples. 30 plus 30 makes 60, plus another 30 makes 90, plus another 30 makes 120, then 150. You could keep going. We got 40 plus 40 makes 80, plus another 40. There's our common denominators. So you got to multiply the first fraction by 4. And the second fraction, and the second fraction by threes. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this by four and this by four. 
Multiply this by 3 and this by 3. So if you do that, 11 times 4 makes 44. And then 30 times 4 makes 120. And then over here, 27 times 3, and I don't know off the top of my head. 81. And then 40 times 3 makes 120. And now think carefully about this problem. You have negative $44, because that negative sign could be put up here, right? Negative 44 plus 81. You should be positive, right? Because you put in more to your bank account than you had debt. So what you could really do is take 81 and subtract it by 44. You've got $37 above. OK, and then for this final one, we've seen this a couple of times. To get common denominators, you've got to multiply the top and the bottom by 4, the top and the bottom by 3 here. So it gives us 4x over 12 plus 3 over 12. Now they have common denominators. Just write them as one big f happy family up there. OK, 4x plus 3 in the numerator and 12 in the denominator. That's fine. You can't simplify any further because we need to know what x is before we try to add and subtract. You can't do 4x plus 3 makes 7x.